More Thank on the you. breaking news in the Middle East. Israel says it has resumed its offensive in Gaza after Palestinian militants launched rockets during a 24-hour call for truce. Now here is the response from a senior advisor to Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas. By all means, we wanted the situation to be very quiet. We wanted peace and we wanted to come to terms with the Israelis. The Israelis wanted to sabotage the Palestinian-Palestinian reconciliation. The whole Gaza Strip has been under total siege for seven years. Join me on the phone right now, NBC's Jamie Novograd. He joins us from Gaza City. And Jamie, I understand you have some new video of an attack. Tell me what it is that you're bringing to us. Good afternoon, Alex, from Gaza. The video I have to show you shows a building, a house, in fact, not far from where I was as I, as I filmed it, uh, being struck by uh, an apparent Israeli missile at about 1.30 local time this afternoon. And the video just goes to show that we are in a gray area here. We are, uh, we are in between truce agreements. And it's those spaces in between that are most dangerous, Alex, because uh, because it's there that the situation can spiral out of control. So why don't we play that clip and then, and then I can tell you more about the situation on the ground. Yeah, it, 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 Jamie, is there a truce or is there not a truce? I mean, clearly the evidence of the video we're seeing right now shows that there's still attacks, mm -hmm. but the, the pervasive sentiments, I mean, do the, do the Gazans, do they believe there's a truce at all? No, no, there is, there is no truce to speak of right now, Alex. Uh, and it's been one of those confusing foggy days in which there have been competing truce offers it started around midnight last night when the israeli cabinet voted uh to offer a 24-hour extension of a uh, of a lull in the fighting saturday hamas rejected it overnight and then at about two o'clock this afternoon uh put forward its own offer for for essentially the same uh for the same agreement a 24-hour truce agreement and the Israeli cabinet convened this evening and is discussing next steps. Yeah. Um, Jamie, it has been suggested twice on my broadcast in the last half hour or so that many Palestinians are pulling away support from Hamas because of what's happening around them. Do you sense that as being the truth at all on the ground? No, frankly. Hmm. Uh, I, I think that the truth is, is a little bit more complicated than that. It's partly true. Yesterday, we were able to visit uh, the neighborhood of Shijaiya, which is north of Gaza, which has seen really the brunt of the Israeli offensive over the last two, two and a half weeks, a uh, neighborhood of 200,000 people. And uh, we visited Alex during this lull in the fighting, and truly, it's a moonscape. And there, we visited a man uh, who was clearing out his apartment. There was a gaping hole in his ceiling. We asked him uh, whether, in, uh, whether support for Hamas has increased, and he said to us, it's about 50-50. Mm -hmm. Some people want an end to all this and want Hamas out. Other people are saying Israel should feel some of the pain we're feeling. So that's a snapshot right there of the, of the divide among this population with regard to Hamas and with regard to the conflict. All right, for which uh, we thank you so much. NBC's Jamie Novogrod there in Gaza City. Thanks, Jamie.